Wanda. And we're going to have some fun tonight. Lots and lots of fun. If you've never been on a live with us before, we're pretty crazy. I'm alone tonight, but I'm with all of you, my friends. So all of you, my friends out there, are just as crazy as myself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm so excited. We got the spring bouquet out today. Thank you, Katie, for being here all day long helping me pack um lots of fun things out today we got the spring bouquet and then we got the spring collection of liquid dolls and uh the let's see we got the two whips out as well so the whips these are also in the store the full size they're only available in the full size pouch in the store or they're in the kit and in the kit they're the a deluxe size they're this size and you get both of them deluxe size so the liquid gels are not in the kit this time but they are available singly or in the set in the store and I'll show you those swatched in just a moment hello <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome. Let me see who's on here. Oh goodness, you guys have been talking for a while. Hello. Hi Connie, Dini, Allison, Betty, PJ, Lori, Jen. Thank you ladies. Allison, did I say that? Deborah, hi. Hello. Hi Heather. Let's see, Betty, Allison, Dini. Hi, Bonita, Kathleen, Anita, Katie Buckuber. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Pam, and Deborah Lilly. All right, everyone, thank you and welcome. Hi, Cheryl, and Angela, and Mama Dance Party. Hi, Joan. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's in the fun spring bouquet. We are graced with another beautiful selenite to paint on from Miss Heather over at East Coast Santorini. I'm looking for her card. My apologies. There it is. So, East Coast Santorini. And this is Heather Martin. You can scan her little code if you want to get a, uh, get a screenshot real quick. And that'll take you right to her. So here is spring. Connie and Connie. Hello, Dances with Aardvark. So we open up this right here is tacked to the tissue, but it is a it's a decal sticker. So if you pull it off and then use your fingers or tape or whatever, it will separate and you can use it with your kit. This is a usable um, fabric vine, so it's also a usable piece in your kit. They're mixed media kits, so even the tissue is usable. So save everything, you guys. Save it all. <laughs> so in your kit, you're going to get some fun things. Thank you, Miss Katie, for packaging everything so beautifully. This was our photo photographed kit, so it's been handled. There's some <laughs> probably dents and tape and fingerprints, so... You're going to get some wooden cutouts, which are amazing for foiling, too, if you haven't foiled before. These are always fun. And they're not all going to be the same, so you might get, you know, a bunny or a, a butterfly or a dragonfly or a flower. Who knows? <laughs> You're going to get some holographic decals and some flowers for spring. Uh, you're going to get tattoos, and this does have tape, my apologies, from the picture taken. <laughs> and 
and all the tattoos and the stencils are going to be separate or different per kit so it is spring themed so you'll probably get butterflies dragonflies you know things to do with spring we do have an Easter kit coming out soon so there may be some similar items but it's got a lot of fun going on in it too Here's the, the flower garden seed mix for your spring kit. This is also fun to help bring your bee your bees some uh, nectar for their beehives. Do you guys know I'm big into the bees? <laughs> your bead pack. Oh my gosh, isn't this the greatest? Look at all those fun resin beads in there. The flower shapes. Thank you, Lori, for the idea. Thank you, Katie, for buying the beads. Katie bought these with her own dang paycheck. <laughs> Go, Katie Bugs. Thank you. <laughs> here are those deluxe whips I was talking about. And I'll show you these swatches here. This is called Butterfly Fields. Look at that. It is Chameleon Butterflies holographic big ones it's an amazing whip <laughs> and then we have berry fuchsia which is like a red berry with a fuchsia finish gorgeous it's like a fine wine <laughs> hello Diana Hi, Yvonne. Hello. All right. In here, giddy bag, is another goodie bag. Aw, little thank you card. Thank you for celebrating spring with us. All right. And you get some yummy Dove chocolate, and these are the spring, I'm all collectibles, the spring collectible chocolates, no, the spring chocolates. These are always um, like a limited edition with Dove. On the inside of Dove, they have little sentiments, so always check the inside of your wrappers. They're adorable. And you get a keychain, and this one I think is particularly beautiful, and um they're different colors in the different packages, but they all have a butterfly and a charm and a tassel. So cool. Okay. And we have some tchotchkes. Thank you, Katie, for these too. Fun, fun. She donated these as well. And then we have the paint. Oh my gosh, you guys, the paint. And I'm looking for my swatch. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay. This is the paint swatch. They are amazing colors. I especially love this color right here. It's like a dusty rose gold purple. Oh, so beautiful. Love it. Anyways, they are here. The spring bouquet colors. And I'm going to be playing with some of those tonight. Yay! Of course, we're going to have a paint along after everybody gets their kits. And we'll do a the selenite together or or a wooden cutout I don't know you know I might do a wooden cutout oh yeah you get your two you guys are probably collecting uh, getting quite a collection of the water brushes <laughs> the ones if you've gotten the ones with the wide um, brush in there those are really great for whips you know digging them and spreading them and fun fun all right, in this bag is your goodie bag, your other goodie bag. 
<laughs> lots of goodie bags with another beautiful sticker thank you Katie and this time you get some cherry pomegranate welches this is one flavor there's lots of different fun fruity lemonadey summer flavors and then we have some special tea this is jasmine and green tea and these were donated by a sweet friend for the box Right, so here we are. That is your spring kit. Just kidding. I gotta show you this selenite. <laughs> You're like, what? There's no rock. <laughs> Hold the phone. Hold on. Here we go. You get a beautiful selenite circle. Isn't that gorgeous? Love the selenite. I love all the crackles and the so pretty. I don't know if you guys saw what I did to the, my last heart that I, let me see if I can find it. I thought it was right here. Yep, here it is. I haven't finished it yet, but this is the Mardi Gras um, on it. <laughs> just I did like a, a, what is that called, a dirty pour? I just poured them all on there and let them set and settle. But isn't that pretty? Selenite. Lots of fun to paint on. And these are from Heather Martin at East Coast Santorini. I showed her little um, card in the beginning. Alright, that is the kit, you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who's already jumped in and purchased that. And if you haven't got your kit yet, go grab one. They go super fast, as you guys know. They will only be here for a couple of days. There will be opportunities uh, when they're gone to get uh, the paint and, you know, little tidbits here and there. So don't don't feel like you, you know, have to rush over and, and do that. If you want everything that's in this box, I would rush over and do that. But if you're just looking for paint and um, the other things, nah, no worries. Um, yeah, I never remember the order here, so gently lay back in the box. Remember to hang on to all your fun things for mixed media. All right, we're gonna paint tonight. We're doing a hummingbird. Bird is the word. I did a decoupage, but this time I did grayscale. So I'm gonna paint some color tonight. Anybody painting with me? Thank you, Sherry. Thanks, guys. I'm just reading through your comments here real quick. <laughs> Butterfly fingers. <laughs> Butterfly fields. Fingers. That's cute, too. Did I say fingers? Oh, Diana, thank you. Look at that. Diana threw out her code there. If you use Gibby Rocks 20 you can get 20% off. Yay, Diana. Thank you. Ooh, on the pink agate. How nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys because I hadn't put it in the kit yet. It, uh, it was an afterthought because my brain, you know, I had a little moment. So there is gesso in the kit too. <laughs> there will be gesso in there, a little gesso bottle. A clear gesso for you because it's easy to paint on selenite, but you need, if you're going to use um, like these paints, you'll need like a gesso base. So. Okay, I don't know where I want to start. I hadn't mapped it out or planned it out. I do want to use some of my Intense Chameleon 
that's the, oh, <laughs> I have these in a different box from our old Be Kind. I just grabbed it. Um, they're the Shifties, Intense Shifties. And I think I'm going to use, well, obviously all the spring colors, but I'm also going to use some of the high chrome colors from the Mardi Gras kit. And that is still available, by the way. If you didn't get the Mardi Gras kit, French Quarter, you can get those paints in the store. And those, that swatch is, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I promised you and I forgot to show you. This is the French Quarter from the last kit, Mardi Gras. But I forgot to show you the swatch of the liquid gels. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is them on black, which is super awesome. You get color, color sheer on black, of course. And then on white, they are such a treat. Look at this. Or on light colors. And they look amazing over regular color as well. They're not quite dry yet. I just swatched them before I came on. This is that color I love so much. It's like a pinky purpley plummy gold <laughs> just beautiful and these are sold in a set or single so you don't have to go all in very pretty all right, I'm going to move those out of the way because I keep putting my arm in them. I think I missed some comments there. I'm sorry, guys. Was there trouble with a code or... Oh, no. Sherry, if you guys can't get... What's the other code? Katie, what's your code? Sometimes if you guys have an old code left in the box, it will kick out uh, the new code. It will use whatever code is already in there. So you guys got to make sure it's cleared out. Rockin' KK20 is Katie's code. That one um, may work for you guys. Diana's coat should work too, but I'm just saying, if you have trouble with one, try another. They're both active. Ah. Nope, this does not have decoupage. It's selenite, so it's, we just think decoupage will cover it up, so... I think selenite's just gorgeous. I left the decoupage out. I don't know. If you guys want some decoupage on your next kit with selenite, let me know. We can hook that up. I just figured you might want to do it without that. So this image here is... Grab my picture. Oops. Just tore off the wing. No big deal. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm off screen. That's what I'm going for. Woohoo. So these images, if you went over to Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook, um, our Facebook group. I made some images with Bing AI and they are available for you to play with over there. You can download them, print them, copy them, trace them. I am not picky. You can do with them what you want to. Also guys, in the shop, uh, the hummingbirds are available. So if you don't want to paint, these are perfect for 4x4s. And this is a 4x4 Thassos from Yvonne. Davenport, and she's on, or she was on with us a bit ago. Um, anyways, they're perfect size for the 4x4s. Four Isn't that great? I'm 
they are perfect for that. They're just beautiful. So you can just pop one of those on there and seal it up with some resin and you're done. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, I was going to show you guys the spring owls also are back in stock. At least I hope they are. They were <laughs> this morning. They might be sold out. Every time I think we have it in stock, I say, hey, go get it. It's there. And then it's gone. And I'm sorry. I do buy quite a bit and they're... You, I can never judge. I can never buy enough either. I can't I can't afford to buy a hundred of each thing, but maybe one day. Anyways, these are the two by twos. They are so adorable. These sweet spring owls. There are a lot of decals. New ones in stock. I have a new adult section in the store. So obviously I've been shopping for some naughty naughty. <laughs> For some fun, naughty, funny, you know, dry sense of humor decals. And you guys have been eating those up like candy. So those are almost sold out as well. But I am still shopping, so don't you worry. We'll be getting more. More stark, snarky stickers to come. Yes, the adult content section. Thank you, Lori. Hey, Pam. Okay, I'm not going to fuss with this. I'm never going to get them back in there. <laughs> All right, let's paint. Dun, 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 dun. Where do I want to start? I think let's start with... So, let me go grab some of the deep, I can't see the names on my, oh, there they are, Masquerade. This is from the French Quarter set. These are going to be the darker colors on the Hummingbird. That is... Oh, come on. It wasn't that long ago. You can remember, right? I can't see it. I can't remember the name. Mine don't have labels on them because I have this control set. Oh, Carnival. Yay, yes. These are so... Look at how chrome they are. Aren't they cool? <laughs> Perfect for hummingbirds. <laughs> And King Cake, love that one. That might be my favorite purple ever. And this is Ma uh, Spanish Moss. Gator, Gator Green here, which I probably, I think I'm gonna use every color I have <laughs> on this one. The Bloon Gold, I'm gonna hold off on that. So later when I do the flowers. Okay, then the new stuff, Gladiolus. Blue dandelion. Have you guys ever seen blue dandelion? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't sure where to go with the names because we've had a lot, a lot of products in the store. So we have a lot of names for things. <laughs> so it's hard thinking up new names. This one is Golden Rose. It is rose with a gold finish. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning color. Love this color. Alstromeria. Alstromeria. Katie, thank you for naming most of these with me. Katie used to work uh, in a flower shop, so she's got lots of knowledge about flowers. Here's Tea Rose. That's very much like this color here which is called Tiger Lily. They're similar in that they have that purpley undertone-ish color. Marigold. Daffodil. I had to make a daffodil for Miss Katie. It's her favorite flower, by the way, you guys. And English Ivy. 
And I even looked up English Ivy. There are some nice light colored green English Ivies. I've never been there and seen them in person, but the pictures look pretty. <laughs> All right, here we go. I was just kidding. I don't know where my paintbrush is. <laughs> don't hate me, please. Well, I don't know where my favorite one is, but... I'll be happy with the next one. This is a number six, I believe. Round Princeton. That is my favorite brush, but I needed the number two. Won't you know it? There it is. Alright, here we go. Number two. So I'm going to start with this color here. Right here on the under breast area. And I'm going to be working pretty fast because I want them to blend together. So I'm just going to use the dry. I'm going to grab this color, the purple king cake. And then the blue. And this is going to go pretty fast here. Sorry, let me pull this down so you guys can see. Shimmer shots are pretty incredible to work with. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Stacy. All right, let's grab some green. I think I'm going to go in for the English Ivy. Mm, I think I need to go greener. Sorry. Okay, maybe back to the Spanish moss. Just a bit of that first. And then... Oh yeah, loving it already. What do you guys think? Grabbing some of that gator. Right here on the tips of these wings, some of that English ivy. Let me see if we turn on that flash. Where's the flash? Uh oh, I don't have no flash tonight. Oh, there it is. Some of that here. A little of this um, dandelion, blue dandelion. And some of the deeper blue right here. Kind of fluff it out a bit. I love doing hummingbirds. I know I do them a lot, but I just... They make it uncomfortable, you know. So good.
Hey, Stacy. Some of the gator. And then the dark green. Okay, I'm going to use the dandelion blue here. And the darker blue here. And then I'm going to turn my um, bird around and then flare this out. Under there. Now I'm going to grab some black. This black is crazy black. Crazy, crazy, crazy black. So just a little tiny bit, you guys. A dab. Flat black. It don't mess around. <laughs> that is a dab. Tiny, tiny dab. I suggest using even a different brush with it to blend. So I'm going to grab dry brush. Just a, ooh, just a small amount of that black. And we're going to start <clears throat> building in the kind of shadow shaded area here. And I'm just dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. There's like a second kind of under row of darker plumage. And then we'll add some highlights when we get back over there. All right, we're going to jump up here top 
Yes, you can buy that black by itself. Absolutely. They're sold singly. Very iridescent. <laughs> The shimmer shots are very, very shimmery. <laughs> right, let's see. I'm going to add a little more. I have this darker blue. It's another little layer. Kind of speckle it in there. To give some detail. All right, let's do this wing up here. So I'm going to put some of this dark green. my brush thanks Jen Jenny thank you all right grabbing the blue again and being careful not to cover up the back of the head and just pull that blue I'm going to grab just a smidge of water. Kiss the waters, Diana would say. <laughs> Such a good teacher. All right, so there's the blue. We laid that down. I'm going to get the black again, the other brush. Just a smidge. And I'm turning upside down so that I can control my movement. And I'm going to try to leave that green line on the top there. And then dab in the dark. Now this is before the highlights, so got that in there. I gotta touch up the green. I went a little too far. All right, so I'm gonna pull some of that uh, English ivy back and just re-fluff up these neck feathers just a bit. See, easy peasy, right? Sort of. <laughs> Here. Yes. Katie. Mine too. There's just nothing like shimmer shots out there. You know, it's a whole new kind of paint. And they are amazing. Hi, Melissa. Okay, I'm going to come down here on this, the butt of the birdie, <laughs> the back and the tail, before we get to the tail, the booty, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to start with the lighter green in here, and this is the English Ivy. These colors are amazing. Love this spring English ivy. Look at that. Such a cool color, huh? All right, I'm going to mix it with the green from the Mardi Gras French Quarter Kit called Spanish Moss. And we're going to 
blend those two together right there. And then the blue carnival from a uh, French Quarter. Oh, I mean, less than that. We're going to do just the back here. We want a softer blend there. I'm going to rinse my brush so we can get a truer blue there. It's right along the back. I love it already. I love using grayscale because it helps me so much. Y'all know I can't draw, but I can paint. And it helps me with my value so I know where to shade, you know. It makes it a lot easier for me to find my way around things. It's like a map, you know. You've got a map of, of the place. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little more blue on the tip of my brush and I'm going to sort of just pat it here and there to give little feather rows. So you get like some feather definition there. And I'm going to bring that other definition up the belly. Like so. Right, this blue color, the darker blue. I'm sorry, I can't get it all in the shot, but the darker blue. Gonna bring that down. Ooh, come back, come back. I'm going to bring it down the tail. We're just going to do the tail feathers and then we'll bring the black back into it. black come up underneath this back part here a little bit of a shadow there and pull down and kind of at the beginning of each feather spread where they're spreading at the tail Lori, thank you. I see you. Thank you, friend. Thank you. <laughs> I got to find my bells. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Woo 
Thank you. I'll turn that flash off so we can get some of that glare off of there. I don't know if that helped very much, but okay. I think I'm going to use some black here. Vicky, thank you. Thanks, Vic. Thank you. I'm stippling in the black shadow on this underbelly part. And right here, and some right here. And then at the eye, we're going to, let's see if I can, okay, the eye. that out and then we're gonna come back and do our details okay little tiny hummingbird beak <laughs> there's some blue in there so I'm gonna grab my liner brush Whew. gotta have a steady hand for this tonight let me find a little busy tiny baby one we need a little baby brush this is not a baby brush. <laughs> okay. Just a second, guys. I gotta find the brush. Okay, here we go. Little bitty baby brush. I don't think I have these in right now. I may. They might be pink, though. Anyways, little bitty baby brush. I'm gonna grab some of the blue. And it's going to be the top of this beak. I don't think they have a blue beak, but I think this is the shadow. I'm going to make it a little longer because I got a little fat at the end. <laughs> you see the blue there? Okay. So I'm also going to bring a little bit of this black. So you want to kind of make a little bitty V right here. Okay. 
And this black is a watercolor, so it's completely water reactivatable, the flat black. So once you put it there, um, it will move until you set it, is my point. It's watercolor. Okay, we'll be adding some white to this mix in a bit. I think I'm pretty happy. Do you guys like it? a little foot there but I kind of think I might try to delete it <laughs> hey Din hi Din okay ooh these flowers see I'm not great with flowers but I'm going to go for it I'm going to try it let's do a flower just in case I don't get to the other hummingbird tonight so let's get a flower in there okay oh, let's start with You know, I may have to pull in some other colors here. Um, no, I'm going to get my watercolor, my basic watercolor set, the Vivid Matte set. Use that for some, uh, it will run interference with it. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Obviously, my birdie's nowhere near that good, <laughs> but I like it. All right, so I'm going to work out here a little bit on this flower. I'm going to drop some color. yellow to blend with that. Hey, Anita. That's wonderful. All right, I'm going to grab some of this purpley magenta from because it's the we need like a deep color down in here. Then I'm going to use some of the Gladiolus color here.
some yellows. block in that color Okay, the gator green we'll pull in here. And then this deep green. here too. And some of the gator green again. Oh, who's singing? Pardon me. All right, let's grab some more of this um, masquerade from our um, Marty Gross set. And the purple um, king cake.
starting to kind of come alive a bit. Getting some flower definition here. Jen, oh my word. <laughs> Girlfriend, thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Woohoo! Thank you, Jen. Yeehaw! Thank you. Katie got me a new white paint, and I was gonna try it, but Katie, where did I put it? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Sorry for the bump. Okay. This is it. Katie, you might be able to... I don't know much about it, but this is what it is. Here we go. I'm going to put some on the plate. It's a liquid, so... This be super duper 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 white to be good with our stuff. I do have a white, but it does absorb the color. So if you want it to stay true white, I'm going to go in and do some details on our bird. So I want it to be white. Like around this eye here. Okay, let me see if I can get up here so you can see. Oh yes, this is awesome. Look at that awesome white. See that? Oh, yes. Ooh, nice and reactivatable, too. It does dry fast, so. I'm going to work a little fast here. Dang. Real fast. Okay. Dilute it just a bit so I can get some work time here. I did it again on the end of the beak. Oh, well. So they got their beak open. <laughs> Oi. Right here on the wing. Oh, stop with the blurry. And then I'm going to come up the wing. Ooh, I like this color, Katie. Cool. Thank you. Okay, so back here on the wings.
Yeah, I like it. All right, so on our flowers. Good. Phyllis, thank you. Just a moment. Thank you, Phyllis. Woohoo! Thanks, Phyllis. Woohoo! Yeah! Thank you. Lisa, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Right on. It's party time. Woo hoo hoo, party time. No worries. Wow, you teach karate? That's pretty cool, Lisa. Okay. Okay, back up in here.
I'm enjoying this so much, you guys. I don't really go into detail on flowers because I've been really intimidated, but this one I'm really liking. This is the dark purple color in the matte velvet watercolor set. Sorry for the blur, that's really irritating every time I go to work, huh? Okay, let's grab some of that. A masquerade. Okay, I'm going to grab some of that gladiolus color. Just blocking in color right now. We'll be doing detail in a bit. That gladiolus color again. And the darker one here. Okay, 
slightly swapping it out for some of the dark, dark purple over here. some blue and as long as you don't let your shimmer shots dry 100% completely they're reactivatable for a while too sometimes you can reactivate them even days later but they are a hybrid so they do have both my watercolor binder and acrylic binder blender blended blender <laughs> that was too much but we'll work it out we'll get out It's a fantastic set, Lisa. I hope you love it. Pop some orange in here. Who ignored what? <laughs> okay, let's see. Little of that masquerade.
sorry, I'm totally engrossed in, <laughs> in this. You know, it's hard to paint flowers, and they're kind of messy, but it's still fun. A little bit of red. It is an Alstrom area. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jen. Or at least I'm, I think it is. I didn't ask it. <laughs> what kind of flower do you want to be? Little flower? Drop in some very pale yellow green back in these leaves back here. All right, what time is it? Okay, you got about 30 minutes left. Let's see. I'm going to play with the white.
Hmm. You guys still with me out there? <laughs> I'm struggling a bit, but I'm still going at it. Thank you, Jen. Oh, I don't know. What are we painting Wednesday, Katie? Hi, Karen. <laughs> she says one sec. Yeah.
Okay. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I don't know what to do about my darn beak. I messed up. Let me see if I can. Sometimes you can lift color out, but it's not looking good. So I will add color back in. That's what we're going to do. We're going to extend it just a little more. Besides, hummingbirds have big, long old beaks, right? So we're going to make it a bigger beak. You're just going to be a big mouth. Okay, birdie. Oh, there. It looks like it's open now, right? That looks okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave it. Leave it alone, mommy. We'll just start with your beak and eye. I don't think I'm done with those flowers, but I'm... I'm done with them for right now because they're driving me bananas. Let's go back and do some more fun stuff on this bird for the next four, thir 20 minutes. Okay, I need to re-up on my paint, on my plate. <coughs> Pardon me. drops back. Um, let's see. Okay, doing, uh, spring English Ivy. And Australia. Actually, I'm going to grab some of that right now. some coil in here. What a cool color. Can you see it? And that's the actual Australia color. So you get that brown, orange, golden undertones that this plant has naturally.
fun. Love this. Yes. <laughs> All right, some of the uh, <clears throat> marigold. I know it's still Austin over here too, but I like it. Okay, I'll go back and play with this uh, sweet face over here. We're going to start with the marigold. You guys can't really see that very well, so this color marigold. Right here. Okay, just a stripe down the front. And then, you know, a little tiny bit of daffodil. This right in front of that. Like so. Then, dun, 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 some of the masquerade from the French Quarter set. get a scruffy brush kind of blend those together right there okay then some of the quaple 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 is the um king cake <laughs> king cakes Like that, and now the blue. Carnival, and this is going to come all the way around the face. kind of fluffy at the head and then kind of leave an area around the eye there but come down the back just pat 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 And green and we're going to go ahead and mix the greens um, this is a Spanish moss from French Quarter and English Ivy from spring Bring a little bit in front of the eye, just a bit, and then down, 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 down. And then on these wings here. And on this wing here.
and here on the, the belly. And then some blue. I'm gonna rinse first. <laughs> The lip slip of the hand. No panicking. All right. Take a wet brush and squish and lift. I'm wiping it off on a dry towel. Make sure your hand's clean. <laughs> that was close. Phew! <laughs> okay, scruff a brush. Come back, yeah. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, back to the blue. My hand just totally, I don't know what that was a minute ago. Just a jerk, you know, of the hand. Involuntary movement. Darker blue here, 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 here. Um, I'm actually going to grab some of this blue from my chameleons, the extreme. a little bit of dry time. <laughs> Grab some blue with my brush.
about that joy. Work it down the back. Okay, got the blue down. <laughs> <clears throat> Add a little black. Scruffy brush, blend a little bit of that. A little bit of green.
him taking black and building. <laughs> Sorry, I have a brush in my mouth. Building the um, shadow on the inside of these wings. It's kicking me off, you guys. I don't know if you're still there, but. All right, let me get that white in here and the green on these leaves. love this white <laughs> amazing things happen in here
Oh, this little birdie. <laughs> this one's not going quite as easy as the other side did, but it's okay. Alright, little feathered friend. I'm going to turn it over. See if I can get some. Feathery looking belly, you know, not really. Yeah. How you guys doing? Are you still with me or did everybody get kicked off? Because I saw it disconnect and then I don't know if y'all are still there. Oh, hey. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Katie. Katie. Kitty, kitty, Katie, Bar Cooper, sorry, I'm getting delirious. Vicky, hey, Deborah, hi. Okay, thanks, guys, for letting me know you're still out there. Okay, I'm probably going to stop here in a minute. I keep saying that, but. I think we're finally, finally getting a little bit of this definition here. I love their little eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Alright, I did not finish. Whew, I know, I'm getting off. Thanks, Katie. Okay, I'm going to be finishing the flowers and the details later. I might save it for next Monday. We'll finish up this baby. Thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight and painting with me and watching the opening of the spring kit and thank you for buying the spring kit and all the fun stuff don't forget if uh, you participated here tonight to post your work in the event over at creative rock art um and foil techniques on facebook in the comment section of this event and this is called let's paint hummingbirds all right, guys, or hummingbird paint along. I don't know what I named it over there, but anyways, hummingbirds. <laughs>
Thank you so much. We'll see you Wednesday. I'm not sure what we're doing. Katie will let me know. We'll see you then. Good night.